girls here <laughs> and you've had the full Japanese experience and by full I mean 10 days <laughs> I can't believe you guys are going to the UK yeah it's exciting it's exciting and I'm gonna miss you but maybe I'll just have to come visit of course and you will repay the favor you can sleep on my ground in the UK <laughs> hey it's not that bad <laughs> no okay. it's not it's it could probably be probably good for your back or your <laughs> spine. <laughs> That's been seizing every night. <laughs> I'm stuck on the ground every night. Every night, yeah. So you guys went to mm. Kyoto. Yeah. Tell us about that. How was it? Uh, it was beautiful. I think. Yeah. yeah. What, what's the difference between Tokyo and Kyoto? It was more historic. Mm. Yeah. It's like old school. Yeah. yeah. And the people are a lot more relaxed. Don't have that whole businessy vibe. Yeah, that got a groovy kind of relaxed vibe. It's definitely it's like being in Melbourne when you jump. Oh, <laughs> big call. Cool. What was the best temple that you went to? The Fushimi Inari. Yeah, that one was beautiful. Oh yeah, well that's yeah. like the famous one. Yeah, yeah. Really but it was so much more beautiful. I mean. I just thought I was going to be going and walking kind of just down a little walkway with the, the Tory gates but it just oh, it just kept going forever and all the way up the mountain and I think it just felt impressive. Yeah, and it felt amazing being there too. You don't get that vibe in Tokyo. Even going no. to temples and stuff here, it's yeah. not the same. Yeah, you don't have that, you, can't, you don't feel like that spiritual feeling. It's no. kind of just like Tokyo. My favourite is usually Kiyomizadera, which is the water yeah. temple. Yeah. That was being renovated when we were there, so I think it didn't... I hate that. Yeah. The last time I went to Hiroshima, I went mm. to like the A bomb dome, the only structure that survived the blast. And it was being renovated. I'm like, oh, oh, no. this is what I came for. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of blows, but yeah. now well. It was still beautiful. Got to drink some water. Oh, you, you drank the water? <laughs> yeah, I drank it. Oh, did, didn't you have to pay like five bucks? No, just lined up. There was a. <laughs> oh, we had to pay to go in this dungeon. Oh, how intense was that? Wait, it what? It was so what? intense. Did you go in there? No? What? Oh, 
Oh, it's in the Lonely Planet book. It says to go to this little thing that seems like, you know, it's going to be nothing. How intense was it? Was intense. Yeah, you it's pay like... like black and yeah. you walk around trying to find the walls and oh. I don't know. It was scary. It's like female Buddha's womb or something. It's called the womb. Yeah, the womb. The womb. It's so scary. You walk downstairs and hold onto a rail. And then it just it just goes pitch black. I have never been in black like that in my life. And you're walking like feeling with your feet and holding onto this rail, and then all of a sudden there's just this room that has the like a really just low light glow, and there's this round stone, and it's got like I mean, a yeah, it sounds familiar. I might have gone once, but. Well, that was so black, clearly I didn't remember. <laughs> <laughs> we went for a few minutes, but it felt like that. Oh, yeah. We're like, we're definitely gonna go. <laughs> oh, I nearly turned around, I'm like, let me out, let me out! <laughs> what else have we done? You guys met my, my yeah. peeps? Yeah, we've had some parties. Yeah, we've had some parties. Yeah, we've had some parties. Yeah, we've had some So what's the plan from here on in? Well, tonight we're going to Shibuya to do the crossing. The, sh the scramble. The scramble. Oh, it's called the scramble, yeah. Yeah. Anyone who's ever seen Tokyo Drift, you, you know the scramble. You've seen the scramble. Or Lost in Translation. Or basically, oh, yeah. basically any movie that features Japan has the is scramble. in this area. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we're gonna see the other side of Harajuku, which will be cool. Cool shop. The retro side. The retro, retro side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, watch out. Vintage. Get your money ready. Oh. I don't know. What do we do then? With wherever the night takes us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's never good. <laughs> Next minute. Mm. <laughs> Next minute. Next minute. Rapongi. Um, you don't. You don't need to see Rapongi. No, not, it's not necessary. Do you guys be near like any red light districts in England? <laughs> I'm afraid so. Little Whitchurch doesn't feature a red light district. I don't think. So really? We'll yeah, yeah, we'll start a red light district. <laughs> it feels <laughs> like there's money to be made there. Yeah. yeah, it's a growing market for middle class English people. <laughs> You know, you can just go have a cheeky trip to like Europe. Yeah, we could go to Amsterdam to the real red, red light, light district. Red light district, yeah. Or Eastern Europe. It's <laughs> all a red light district, really. <laughs> well, yeah. Thank you for coming. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you for having us. It's been awesome. It's been real. <laughs> it's been real. It's been real. I, I know. I think it's only just a dream. Just a dream. Maybe because... it's a happy. <laughs> no more. Different song. <laughs> Anyway, uh, until next time, I'll be by myself again. <laughs> Mata. Sad. Peace out. <laughs>